Hey guys, so I don't so much have a theory for you today, but rather just a topic of discussion surrounding weirwood trees. Now, we all know that they're particularly important surrounding Bran Stark's green-seeing powers, and we see them in some particularly important scenes in the show. They're mentioned a lot more in the books, and I'll be referencing uh, some of their appearances in the books, even though that the videos that I tend to make tend to be specifically for the show, and I just use, you know, sort of material from books as contextualizers and sort of clues, uh, moreover, any, any sort of evidence. So... We don't see many weirwood trees south of the wall, um, but a lot of people that I talk to about Game of Thrones seem pretty adamant that the wall is going to come down and that the White Walkers will come into the north, most likely further into, into Westeros. They will be, you know, we've been waiting uh, a good number of seasons now for the uh, White Walkers to arrive. Um, for them just to be turned around at the wall does seem somewhat unlikely, but the problem is most of the weirwood trees are, if they're not in the north, they're, they're beyond the wall, and there aren't that many of them there anyway because the um, Andals cut them all down, I believe. So, where are the ones that we know about? Well, there is one on the Isle of Faces. Now, we don't see the Isle of Faces in the show, but it does appear as a pretty prominent spot on the map, and Harren Hall is, is just around the corner. So, if Bran's powers um, are affected by how close he is to, to a given target or to a given situation, then he may very well see a benefit in locating himself near the Isle of Faces or at the Isle of Faces, where there are wild weirwood trees, one of the very few places uh, south of the north, that you actually see them. So, you know, he is in close, closer proximity to Harrenhal, the Crown Lands and King's Landing, the Westerlands. Um, and of course, if the uh, White Walker army does come south, he's probably going to have to retreat to there. Um, and he's probably going to have to use those weirwoods in order to make the full use of his powers. It might be his, um, his last resort. Now, there are allegedly in the books other weirwoods around Westeros, but since we don't see them in the show, and since people don't even reference them or talk about them, I'm going to assume that they kind of went the same way as um, extended family members out of the families, and that is almost sort of written out or pretended that they never existed for the sake of, of brevity and convenience. But we do see in the show one weirwood tree, face at least, outside of the north, and I think it's the only one that we see, and that's in the House of Black and White. In a... In, in a scene that Arya's in, we see her basically sitting at the face of a weirwood tree, which seems to have been removed from the tree itself. Now, when you combine that with the fact that the white half of the black and white doors of the House of Black and White, uh, that the white doors were made from weirwood, it, um, it does sort of demonstrate that the faceless men not only had access to weirwood trees, but because they have many other religious artifacts in the House of Black and White, it seems um, quite logical that they would have then used the weirwood um, or the powers of, um, of weirwood trees you know in in the uh, in in their incorporation of the religious artifacts that they use from all religions um, and you do often you know you see other religious artifacts in the house of black and white it's not just the um, the weirwood face that's the only religious artifact in there and it does seem that the faceless men do use the uh, sort of the magical powers of the various Westerosi and I'm assuming SOC um, religions as well um, as a way of, of you know pragmatically bolstering their power so when Arya um, meets up with Bran at Winterfell which I assume is going to happen uh, there is then a common link that Bran can then be informed of a of a weirwood tree significantly further away from from the uh, impending White Walker army so yeah if, if Bran ever has to be evacuated or retreat from the north there is um, at least in the show, a confirmed weirwood tree that is not in the north. Now, I don't know if we're going to go to the Isle of Faces. If we do, then that again would be uh, would be quite interesting and would be great to see. But since we haven't seen it in the show, and I'm pretty sure it's not mentioned, so um, I, you know, I, 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 it could be up in the air as to whether or not we'll see the Isle of Faces. Like it is pretty prominent on the map, so it does seem like it's there on purpose. Well, there, of course, it's there on purpose, but it's there 
with a purpose, but um, but only time will tell on that one. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Um, do you reckon that's like a, a working weirwood tree that we see there in the House of Black and White? So anyway, that's about it for me today. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, until next time, I've been Chris Ware, and you've been awesome. Take care.